Okay, folks, I've had a lot of requests for a tutorial on how I do the tear texts that I do. A lot of people think I use Google Maps, but I actually use Bing Maps. And um, it's, it's a little complicated, so I'm going to walk you through how I do it. Of course, the main thing you're going to need is Train Simulator. And a text editor, I use Notepad++ and Internet Explorer. And this is something you can't deviate on because Firefox doesn't show the lines correctly. And there's uh, one more program. I use Mosaic, but you can use Route Geometry Extractor or Dimex. And uh, this is just so I can get the file names. So to start, we uh, load up the train sim editor, and we uh, zoom to the tile that we need to do. Now for me, it's going to be this one right here. And it's 11895 by 14162. So we just type those coordinates in, hit jump, and now we need to go to the bottom left of the tile. Make sure you're centered on the zero degrees. So to go to the bottom left, we type in negative 1024 and negative 1024. Hit jump, copy your longitude, and put it into this little script you can find that's included with TileMaker or available on the FriscoRR.com website. We insert that there, get the latitude, insert it here and insert it here. Okay, go back to route editor, go to negative 1024 and positive 1024, copy your longitude, insert it here, copy your latitude, insert it here and here. Go back to train simulator. Uh, you notice I'm uh, pulling back and going to the right or left when I'm um, getting ready to input my coordinates. It'll help you so you don't jump to another tile inadvertently. I'm going to the upper right, so I type 1024 and 1024. Hit jump, copy your longitude, insert it here. Go to left and down. 1024 and negative 1024 for the bottom right. Hit jump, copy your longitude. Insert it here and save your HTML file. Now you need to load that into Internet Explorer and zoom into the general area your tile will be in. It's up to you to know where it's at. A box will appear when you get closer need to get this box centered in your screen. Hit Arial, hit Labels, now hit Print Screen on your keyboard. Go to Microsoft Paint and crop it the best you can. I want to get the blue boxes just so that they are right on the screen. All right, zoom in, edit select all, get that top part, any part that's blue out of there, get the left part, any part that's blue out of there. Yeah, you'll have this extra left over, but you wanna get the bottom part out. Need to crop the bottom here. Get the bottom blue part out. Now you can get your coordinates of this by looking at the bottom left part of the screen. You need to notate the X number, which is 832. Go to Image, Attributes, type in 832. Hit OK. Now do File, Save As. And this is why I use Mosaic, but you can use Route Geometry Exactor. Click on my tile, 
get the tile name, negative 070632C8. It's important that you save that, otherwise when you uh, export the uh, tear text, it won't, it's not going to be able to find the tile name, and then you'll just have a blank tile or no tile at all, and you'll start getting errors. Okay, we need to load Photoshop. Go to File, Open. Open the tile we just made. Zoom in to about 800%. You know, I understand you could probably do this in GIMP, but I don't use GIMP, so TS. Zoom in to 800%, select all, go to Edit, Transform, Skew. I'm going to get the rest of that blue line off the screen. Now, uh, Photoshop pulls to the left, so I can leave a little bit and still save my image and good attributes. Okay, that pulled to the left there, and my blue line disappeared. Deselect, scroll down, make sure I got rid of all the blue. Scroll to the right, go to Edit, Select All, Transform, Skew. Now it's going to pull to the left one, so we got to pull to the right too. Apply Image, make sure we got all rid of the blue. Go to Image, Image Size, 1024 by 1024. It's important because it's bicubic and that's the only way you'll export the ACE. All right, fit on screen, looks good, file save. Start up your favorite ace maker, I use TGA tools. I think it's, it's negative 32C8, export DXT. Negative 070632C8. And once again, you got to keep that file name. If you use TileMaker, it'll ask you when replace. Just hit yes. You can load it back in Train Simulator. There's your tile.